Zone 1. Level 1. You can win a gold medal on this level. Welcome to the tutorial. This is where you'll learn all about the game. First, it's important to get yourself into a good position. If you're stretching out at all, just get comfortable and keep the motion controller fairly close to your body. If the motion controller seems to be pointing in the wrong direction, you can quickly center it by pointing at the PSI and pressing circle. Give it a try now. That's it. Now let's learn about how you're going to use the motion controller. Try moving the motion controller around. The game copies the motion controller's movement exactly. Moving left and right is easy enough, but you can also reach into the screen. That's it, now let's bring on the blocks. Let's learn how to use these blocks. Point the motion controller at the blue plastic block on the floor. Notice how the block is highlighted. This shows which block you have selected. Make sure you're pointing at the block and then pick it up using the T button. You'll have to keep the T button held down or the block will be back on the floor before you know it. OK, it's time to learn how to move blocks around. Move the plastic block into the outline. That's great. This target is at an angle. All it takes is a turn of the wrist. Move the glass block into the outline. Well done. If a block needs rotating a large amount, we've invented a useful trick that will make rotation easier. Give the wooden block a quick flick of the wrist. Using the flick maneuver, try to place the rectangular block within the outline. Excellent. The flick will serve you well as you play the game. Now we can move on to the real deal. This is the platform that will form the base for most of your constructions. If you don't build your tower on top of the platform, it's not going to count at all. In fact, the platform is so important that later on in the game, if your blocks fall off the platform and hit the ground, the level will end there and then. Pick up a block and move it into the outline. Do you see the red shadow underneath the block? That's called the drop zone. It really helps to show where your blocks are going to land. You still have to be careful how you place them. Dropping them from a great height isn't always the best idea. Place the block onto the platform. When the block is in position, release the T button to put it down. Great, you're ready to make your first tower. Pick up another block and using the drop zone to help you, place it on top of the first one. It's often best to lay the blocks down as gently as you can. Now, put the third block on top of your tower. Well done, it's not exactly a skyscraper, but it's a start. As you master the key skills, you'll be able to create a tower like this. However, this tower is not quite as well constructed as it might seem. If you press and hold the move button, you'll enter camera mode. Now, whilst holding the move button, move the motion controller up and down. From this side, the tower looks fine, but try moving the camera to the left or right. 
then you'll be able to see that it's not nearly as stable as it looks from the front. If you do get the camera into a strange position, a useful trick is to press the X button. This is the home button. It refocuses the camera on the starting position. You can also press the square button to take a wider view of your tower. The camera is one of your most valuable tools. Using it well can really help your gameplay. Now that you know how to move and rotate blocks and control the camera, you should be well equipped to take on your first level. Go! You've won a gold medal.